He froze while opening the letter. She wrote that. Why? He only wanted to help her. The letter stated, my mother did not need you to help her. Surely this was an error. However, this was only the beginning. Casey Simmons served at Applebee's. He liked his job, but the restaurant was usually understaffed. Casey couldn't wait to leave work that night. An hour before his shift was over, a woman and her family walked in and took a seat at a table next to the bar. Hey, my name's Casey, the young man smiled. I'm just letting you know that I am so far behind, and I'm in the weeds right now. She paled when she heard he could only take her order in 45 minutes. Casey offered the woman and her family free drinks, but they weren't satisfied. Casey felt overwhelmed as the restaurant filled up. Not his day. One server had over 10 tables to serve. Excessive. What if I just left now, he wondered. Casey needed the money to pay the bills. He inhaled and prepared for the stressful hour ahead. The woman told Casey they wouldn't order food but wanted a bottle of flavored water before leaving. Casey regretted making her wait over an hour to order their food. He didn't know the woman wasn't done with him. Her table ordered flavored water for 74 cents. She searched her purse but found no coins. She suggested he split the amount on two credit cards. Casey was stunned. Despite his full hands. He patiently complied before leaving to serve new customers. After serving the other customers, Casey returned to the woman and her family with the bill, but they had left. He opened the leather folder and saw a receipt note, fearing the worst. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. $500.37. Casey thought she made a mistake. The cash confirmed it. He remained confused. Why would she tip? The note appeared. On behalf of the Sullivan family, I want to thank you for being you, the note read. You made my Mother's Day wonderful on one of the saddest days of the year, my father's three-year anniversary. You made her smile. Casey read until the letter made sense. While grocery shopping that day, he saw an elderly woman. She appeared depressed. Casey recalls seeing a woman in front of her. She glanced at me occasionally, making it appear she was crying. He assisted her. I say, it's not raining inside. No need to look down. Because you're beautiful, I'm sure you have a lovely smile. Casey said, she had a bad day. She kind of shut me down. I couldn't make her smile. After talking, Casey offered to buy her groceries to cheer her up. Cost, $17. He had to persuade her to let him pay. After buying her groceries, he gave her his Applebee's card. Casey left and went to work. When I get to work, I say, it's a great day. I'll make friends and money, Casey said. This was my worst Applebee's day. I was about to leave when this lady came in. Casey didn't realize the woman he gave free drinks to that day was the elderly woman's daughter. She went to the restaurant to repay Casey for helping her mother. Her grocery was only $17, and you insisted on paying and told her she was very beautiful, she said. You made my mother's year, the note said. Local news stations covered Casey's viral story. He was hero worshipped worldwide. Fantastic to see that there are still good, generous, humble, sincere, and caring people in our vicious world of today. Well done and thank you, one wrote. Everyone called his story, heartwarming. If everyone did one act of kindness a day, the world would be much better, another Facebook user wrote. Does Casey like all the attention? Is he heroic? Casey's modest. Even what I did at the grocery store, I would want someone to do that for my daughter, mom, or grandmother, he said. If they looked like that woman at Kroger, I would pray you would. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.